During the Battle of Endor, Veteran Commander Admiral Akbar oversaw the rebel attack, coordinate with starfighter operations led by Lando Calrissian and Wedge Antilles. Hello and welcome to Centurion's Corner and today we're reviewing Star Wars Return of the Jedi Admiral Akbar. Now these guys have been out for a little while, we've got the new boxes and everything as well. Uh, I picked this guy up for $19.99 on Amazon and uh, with just Prime it was just next day delivery. However, as always as Amazon, you pay for Prime, you get it the day after that one. So anyway, here he is in his luscious green kind of cardboard box. We've only got a Rebel Blaster up here. We've got Admiral Akbar in his window. On the side, we've got that nice pencil drawing with the sort of like the Republic ships at the top there. Well, Rebel ships, shall I say. On the back, we've got his picture again and his bio. And on this side, we've got that green just carrying on. And I keep forgetting to point out these ones. This is number one in the Green Saga series. So, without further ado, let's just crack this bad boy open. Okay, so here he is in his nice blister pack, looking very white and very glarish at the moment. And I'm not too sure about this kind of bit here. It just looks really big and bulky, but it does look kind of material rather than sort of rubber. But anyway, we'll grab him out and we'll do some kind of parachute shots with uh, Grand Admiral Akbar as well, as I really like that figure. And um, yeah, this guy's looking as as good. Not too, Still not too sure on this day. But um, I'll go away, take some pictures, and we'll see you in a mo. Let's get that. So, welcome back. We've been away, we've taken these photos, and... As much as he looks really nice, he does have his flaws, and Mr. Admiral Akbar is not going to win any awards anytime soon. However, we can just get on with the review and we can pick out those flaws as we go through. Whether it's Hasbro's fault, the characters, or just the mold, I'm not 100% too sure. But um, anyway, his first accessory is his blaster, and it's just a normal Rebel esque blaster. It's done really well, got the black detailing on there with the silver tip. And also with his little claws, he's got a trigger finger, so he holds it quite nicely in his hands. Um, but unfortunately, he hasn't got anywhere to store the blaster, so there's no holster or anything like that. So it will just go into uh, the customising drawer for a little bit further down the line, because, you know, Admiral Akbar never really uses it. Kind of um, posing ability-wise and... Um, articulation is a uh, just a little bit off on this figure it just just feels off and this is definitely one of the main flaws i have the problems with this guy so as you can tell we got this big big bib that's over the figure and that really hinders his head we can't really turn left or right he can't really look down and he can't look up apart from this movable mouthpiece that we do have here but i just feel like we can't really get the uh, actual kind of articulation out of there as much as we had before. They have put a butterfly joint in there, but again, there is literally no movement in that butterfly joint whatsoever. Um, and there's really no point it even being there. Uh, you can do a rotation up here. We've got the arm that can come up this far. We've got the rotation here at the elbow. We've got one single jointed elbow bend that goes up to about 90 degrees got a rotation here at the wrist and it's also on a hinge we've got a waist swivel just up there um, but because of the bib there's no crunch forward no crunch back really his legs feel really awkward um, so actually getting them to go up and it's not hindered by this at all it's just they're quite stiff uh, it comes up this far back this far uh, leg wise outwards is fine we've got an upper thigh rotation We've got a single jointed knee that comes up this far and we've got the rocker and the pivot at the ankle. Um, so his articulation wise is just not where this figure comes to life at all. He's just it's very static. Um, and I'm not too sure whether that's Hasbro's complete fault because obviously the design of the character of this bib. But then I feel like they could have done this a bit better. It is a bit of a too hard a plastic 
up here, which then does hinder his movement. But then Admiral Akbar doesn't really move on screen and he's not going to be the next one running around uh, shooting and stuff like that. But that still would make some for some sort of toy photography, having Admiral Akbar run around blasting some people down the corridor. But where this guy does come to life is actually in the paintwork and that's pretty much it that what he has going. So I've got the Grand Admiral Akbar which come in the uh, first order like two pack and as you can see the actual paintwork on him is far superior on this guy than it is on here. He's very kind of uh, crab like and all that and I really did enjoy this character as well and I think it's because he's not hindered by this giant bib um, so he can actually sort of move his head slightly we can get really into that mouth part as well um, it just feels like we can actually do a little bit more with this character than this one but nonetheless we can still go through and uh, those eyes look fantastic the little sort of tentacle parts all coming down on the mouth and the paintwork on there with that kind of sort of textured kind of crab skin look all around on his head again we've got this sort of white bib the creases are in there nice. We've got this kind of sort of hunchback bit all molded in. Uh, and then on the belt, it actually looks like fabric, but it is actually rubber down there. It's all hard glued as well into place, so we can't actually unclip it inside. So we've got all the shirt here. You can just see the line going straight up with the gold line inside. There's not much really going on in there. I think it's just literally just a, a plain white torso. Going down into the legs, and his shiny white shoes with the uh, stripe on the side as well. The hands again, which are really nice. I mean, we've got the good detailing on there uh, with that sculpt, which we had before, but it's just this hand. You just, I just don't know what to do with it. It's just a little bit, yeah, it's just, I don't know. Why would they should have gave him another kind of um, gun trigger finger or a more of a open palm it just even when you put it down on the side it just never looks great because it either curling it into his leg or you bring it up um you know it's just literally don't know what to do with it it's just a funny hand um and obviously this one as well um so it just kind of stands static and that's the thing that i have problem with this character so you're gonna have to kind of sort of just burn that one around and just have him standing like this on your shelf and that's it brilliant but um i just feel like as an action figure which some of these you know these are toys at the end of the day it just isn't that at all he's literally like a token character to add to the shelf to um put there with your return of jedi skywalker figures and um and lear endors and how hans and stuff unfortunately but um anyway that brings me to the end of the review you know, would I go out there and get him straight away? Well, if you're an avid collector and original trilogy collector, then obviously, yeah, it's Admiral Akbar, isn't it? You know, he is iconic to the degree. Uh, but as an action figure or for posability to put on your toy kind of um, photography and stuff like that, then he's just not going to cut it for you, unfortunately. So thanks again for joining me on this one. You can comment down below, you can subscribe and ding that bell, and you can follow me on Instagram, which is in the description down below. And until then, I'll see you next time. Take care.